to another lesson. Uh, in today's lesson, what I'm going to do is we are going to create a DVD cover, okay? DVD cover. Now, we know that DVD covers are made up of three different key features, okay? We've got the front, we've got the spine, and we've got the back, okay? Uh, and I'm going to show you how to make that in um, using Photoshop. Uh, and I'm just going to first start off by with part one setting up the um, the DVD cover. OK, so let's without further ado, let's get started. So I'm going to share my screen. Where's Photoshop? Uh, where's Photoshop gone? Just that, get that, so that's correct. All right, so we've shared the screen. Right, so that's what it's gonna look like, but I'm gonna set that all up so that we can get that, that correct. Okay, so first thing that you do is you go to File New, okay, File New, and we need to make sure that the measurements are correct. So the measurements first need to be 130 millimeters by 184, okay, and that resolution's perfect there. The color, obviously we can add that later. So 134 but 130 by 184 millimeters and you click on create. OK, now that is going to be the cover. OK, the cover. So that is not the whole DVD cover, but it's just the the whole DVD. It's just the cover. So we're going to write front there just so that we clearly know what it is. OK, this is all just about setting up. OK, and now what we're going to do is we're going to go and get the spine. OK, what we do is you go to. Image. Once this is gone anyway, image, uh, canvas size, okay, image canvas size, and then we're just increasing the canvas that we've got, and we're increasing it by the size of the spine, which is 13, okay, but 13 millimeters. So it's very important that you click on millimeters, otherwise it won't come up correct. Uh, and we don't need to do anything with the height because it's going to stay relative. So make sure relative is ticked. In the anchor, we want it on the side there, okay. I'm going to choose the color, so it's just, I mean, we sort out color later, but we want the spine to be a different color from the front so that it's clear for now what we're doing. So make sure the anchor's there and it's going to come in on the side. And that is the spine there. The next thing that we need to do is we need to go and get the back. OK, we need to go and get the back. So what we do when we go and get the back is we go back to what we just did previously. Image. Canvas size. Uh, and then we're going to do exactly the same thing, 130 millimetres, OK, 130 millimetres. We're going to keep it relative. Click here so that we get it so it just comes up there. I'm going to make that white so it matches the front. OK, and I'm, I'm going to click on OK. OK, and then I'm going to go to text and I'm just going to write the back, OK, the back. Now, the next thing that we want to do is the outside. We, you know, when we have the DVD cover, DVD cover, we have a border, OK? Uh, and we're just going to go back to, once we clicked off it, go back to image, a uh, canvas size, OK? And this time we're just going to change it millimetres by six millimetres by six millimetres, just like that. Uh, and we don't have to do anything. This is going to be the border around it. And then it's increased it actually let me just go back actually step that backwards because I should have changed the color just so that you know it's a border as well so let me just slight color change there six millimeters by six millimeters like that so we've got a border the next thing I want to do is I want to clearly say where things are going to go it's different where different conventions are going to go obviously we've got those things, but we're going to use the ruler tools just like you would do if you were a graphic designer or you were uh, doing something as well. OK, so we're going to go to make sure the ruler tool is ticked uh, and the snap is ticked as well. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to drag that there so we know where the spine is. Drag that there again so we know where the spine is. Then we think about where the front uh, the title may go, the masthead of the DVD. So I'm going to drag again down here so that we've got these rulers. Obviously, we can get rid of these 
at will, but this is roughly where the title I think is going to go. OK, and I'm just going to put that there as well. So that is this roughly where it's going to go. And then we've got different things such as the the um, film stars that are going to be at the top. OK, and then in the back cover as well, there might be there might be a um, like a star rating here at the top, which we'll sort out in a second. And then some information about the film might go here. So what we've got clearly is some information could go here. Main image is going to go here. The title is going to go here. We've got um, the film um, star ratings here. Uh, and we've got the film stars names, which is a convention that will go at the top there. OK, I actually just need to, to do that. So that is the layout to start with of the DVD cover. OK, that's the layout to start with of the DVD cover. And I'm going to stop the video there and then we'll move on to the next um, to the next things in terms of how we make it in the next in the next session. OK, fantastic. All right. I'll see you in the next session.